What's up, beautiful family? Hope everyone is having a wonderful Friday afternoon. I am grabbing some lunch and I wanted to hop on here and chat with y'all. I hope everybody is excited about their three day weekend. Um, I know that I am, it was funny. Uh, yesterday, no day before yesterday, we were at work out, we were sitting in the conference room and we were all talking and my boss was talking about, you know, um, on Monday, how he was going to be like barbecuing or whatever. And they were talking about three day weekend. And I looked at him like, what are you talking about three day weekend? And he was like Memorial day. And it just didn't even click with me. Um, and we just started laughing because he was like, yeah, he was like, you get, um, you get vacation pay on Monday. And I was like completely oblivious just because I don't know. I just thought it was funny because, uh, the, the background that I come from, I don't know what holidays are, okay? I was used to working all holidays, so um, I am excited about my three-day weekend. Um, I am going back home. Um, my brother uh, lives up north, and him and his wife are actually coming down. Um, and we all just set up this big thing where, like, we're all going to get together, go to the beach um, Saturday, and... Um, do dinner that night but the the big reason why my brother is coming um back into our hometown from where he lives is because my grandpa is actually not doing well um my grandma passed away not too terribly long ago um, a couple years ago um, she had kidney failure and um Papa was doing fine there for a while and then this past year um in well, really starting in 2019, um, going into 2020, um, he started to digress, but he's really gotten worse in this past year. Um, he doesn't even look himself, uh, and really just, there's some factors that play into that, but he's really just getting older and he's in his eighties now. And, um, they actually are planning to move him from the hospital to hospice. So, um, the big thing is we all really just want to um, get together and just reminisce on like the best memories of our childhood um, and just spend time with one another because like I just, I just, you know, you guys have heard me talk about how the Lord reconciled me back to, you know, uh, my aunt and my cousin and, you know, I just feel like that reconciliation, like the Lord just wants us just really close as a family. I know that that is important to the Lord, like for us. So, um, really excited about that, but everybody's going to make sure like everybody has been going to the hospital to see him. Um, because honestly, like the doctors really don't think that he has a lot of time left. I know that they said, um, from days to like months. So, um, I am definitely going to go by there and see him and talk to him and pray with him and just encourage him. Um, I've been really excited to just spend the weekend in my hometown and like go to the beach and stuff. Um, I hope that you guys have a fun weekend. I wanted to hop on here. Um, you, you know, we've been talking about this whole alien thing for a while now. Um, and it's just, it's so crazy how we're literally seeing just this whole big thing about aliens right now. I mean, you guys know we've talked about how in the, they did a 180 day countdown, you know, they put this whole classified information release into the stimulus and it's crazy how uh, soon in the beginning of June, we're going to see these, thing, see these things um, start to come out. And I truly believe a hundred and gazillion percent that whatever they release, is going to help the case of when we're gone, when we're raptured out of here. And I know that people that, you know, are just not awake. I know that people that are not saved probably think that like we are crazy when they hear us talk about these things. But I mean, why now? You know what I mean? And just like how the Lord tells us that we're children of the light and that we are not of the darkness and that that day would not overtake us. Um, and so, you know, clearly the Lord is saying that like, Hey, you're going to know the times and the seasons for like when I come for you. So stay encouraged and, um, encourage one another with these words talking about the rapture. So, um, and it's just crazy how like we see that time, we see that day approaching and like now all of a sudden, you know, they want to get serious about aliens. And I think they actually changed the phrase from UFO to, uh, 
uh, I think it's EU, I don't know, I have to look, but I think they changed it. Um, and now they just like want to take it seriously. Um, Brother Chad actually shared on his community tab how they just came out with uh, new footage of these aliens, <laughs> these unexplained <laughs> objects or whatever, new footage just swarming and surrounding uh, Navy ships. You know, um, they showed they showed the 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 objects in the air and how it was like going against the wind at like over a hundred miles an hour. Um, but now they're showing these objects like out in the water and how they are how they were like swarming the navy ships. And so, you know, we are going to see more of this information come out. And like I said. I believe a hundred and gazillion percent that whatever this information is, it's going to be crazy. <laughs> okay. And whatever it is, hang on, I'm going to order my food real quick. Anyways, I believe that whatever this information is, is going to help um, their case whenever millions of Christians vanish uh, off of this planet. Because if you think about it, I mean, they're making it so evident that this is a lie that they're going to portray to people in regards to like where we went. They're making it super evident um, because those of us who are Christians who are awake to the times, who have an eye to see um, because the Lord says again for the gazillionth time, but it's the truth. The Lord says that we're children of the light and that we're not in darkness. So we see it. Um, and you know, just knowing the times that we're in, they are making it very evident to us, not the people who are unbelievers who are awake to the times or uh, uh, asleep to the times, but they are making it very evident to us that this is going to be the lie that they portray to others in regards to where we went. Um, why now, you know? And with everything else that's happening, all the things that the Lord tells us to look out for, um, everything that the Lord is speaking to us. I mean, the Lord, the Holy Spirit dwells inside of us. So that urgency, like I tell you guys all the time that you feel, the reason why you can feel that he is close is because he's speaking to you and he's telling you that, um, and he's confirming that he is at the door. So, um, I cannot think of anything else <laughs> that they will be able to use to say like, this is, this is where they went. Uh-oh, that guy's having car troubles. That's a nice vehicle, but he is having some real issues. Looks like a really old Mustang or something. And he's just put putting along. Um, yeah, I can't think of any other explanation that they could use to just, to like, just explain away where we went. Um, so if you are somebody watching this right now, and I really just want to stress this because I oftentimes have to remind myself that not everybody that listens to this are always the same people that are believers that are awake to the times. Um, if you're somebody watching this right now and you're like, what the heck is this girl talking about? <laughs> the Lord says, um, in the book of Thessalonians that that he is going to rapture his church before the seven years of tribulation. And um, they're going to explain it away. Um, the Lord says that they are going to allow, or that he's going to allow these people to believe a lie. And unfortunately, they have been painting this picture for a while now, so that when the rapture of the church happens, when millions of, uh, of the Lord's children vanish off of this off of this earth they're going to believe that aliens abducted us and isn't it crazy how right now they are making excuse me they're making this big stink about aliens and they're gonna just all of a sudden release all of this um you know extreme important classified information that has not been available to the public um so I think whatever it is, is going to be significant. Um, do I believe in little green men, you know, 
in flying saucers that have come from Mars to abduct us all? No, I don't. But a lot of people believe in that just because of the way that, you know, society has been conditioned. Like, they've been conditioned to believe this stuff. And, uh, you know, so it's not like they're just making it out like, you know, Russia or China has, you know, some unidentified objects up there spying on us. You know, they're making it out like these are extraterrestrial beings. Um, I just saw an article yesterday that I read, um, you know, and everything is strategically planned, okay? Articles, you know, the, the stuff that you read is not just for nothing. Um, everything is planned. Everything, it's all a stage. This whole world, everything that you see going on, it's all a stage. Um, it's all a setup, okay? Um, and we see it unfolding. But I just saw an article that came out in regards to these aliens, and they're making it out like they are like these beings that have been watching us for a long time. And I saw this article where he was saying that he doesn't believe that whatever these things are are very nice, and that they don't, they've been watching us and studying us, and that they have a plan, basically. So, Man, I'm just telling y'all, if you're somebody watching this right now and you have not put your trust and faith in Jesus Christ, today is your day for salvation. Um, if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, okay, you will be saved. If you truly believe in the gospel, the gospel is found in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 through 4. He said, by this gospel, you are saved, that Christ died for your sins, he was buried, and that he rose again. If you truly believe that in your heart, Jesus is going to snatch his bride out of this earth before the seven years of tribulation starts, which I believe is coming very, very soon. Um, if you are somebody that is watching this video and you have noticed that millions of people have vanished off of this earth, then I want you to know, don't believe the lie, okay? I don't know how long these videos, I don't know how long they will allow these videos to stay up of ours um, because I believe that the deception, you know, they're going to lay it on people thick um, once we're gone. And any information out there that is going to be um, available for you to let you know that, hey, it was not aliens, okay, anything that is going against that deception that they are putting out there. They're going to get rid of it, okay? And we've already seen that happening. All the censorship and stuff has been crazy. So if you're somebody who, um, you know, by chance this video is still out and you're somebody watching this and you've been left here, aliens have not abducted us, okay? Um, Jesus Christ took his people home to be with him in heaven. Sorry, I keep cutting this off because I got lunch and then I... Um, went and got a coffee because I just, it's been yesterday and today. Yesterday felt like a Monday. Today still feels kind of like a Monday, but I'm happy it's Friday. Anyways, I had to pick up a coffee because I just need like that extra pick me up to get me through these last few hours of work. Um, but I, what I was going to say is, um, I really plan to do an in-depth future tense video for those that have been left behind here. And I, I don't say this lightly, I've been wanting to do this video for like a year now, um, but I don't want this video to be something that is just done in my flesh and is not led from the Holy Spirit because, you know, that that's a very important video. I mean, think about, think about an unbeliever who has literally just been left behind they have no idea where these millions of people went and they're lost and they're scared and they're panicking and they're searching for answers um, I I don't want any ounce of that video to be led by my flesh at all um, so I really have been seeking the Lord on this and I really really want to sit down and do a video that is completely Holy Spirit led and that's why I haven't just like popped on camera and just like done it because um, I just really want to be obedient to the leading of the Holy Spirit on that. So um, really want to get that out soon because I mean we, we truly do not know how much time we truly have left. We just know that we see that day approaching so soon and it's our job to get the gospel out there and to warn people that 
the rapture of the church is a real event that is coming up on this earth. So, um, yeah, guys, I mean, I'm really, really, uh, curious to see what these documents, uh, obtain in regards to these aliens. And I know that it's going to back up their case for where we went. Um, this event that is soon going to take place, the rapture of the church, is going to wreak havoc on this on this world. It's it's not just going to be a few people missing and no, nobody knows where these few people went. I mean, you got to think about the amount of believers that are in this world, and think about like the car crashes and um, you know the planes falling out of the sky, and you know I'm sure it's going to you know, collapse the economy. Um, there's got to be somebody that's going to come on the scene and have all the answers to fix everything. And then that's when the mark or the, uh, that's when the antichrist comes on the scene, the mark of the beast. We see that system forming before our very eyes. Um, it's crazy. Uh, I literally last night, I was actually watching a documentary on world war two and the Nazis and just the Holocaust just and it was actually heartbreaking all the footage that they had and you know I've been learning more about the Freemasons right I told you guys about that video that that man made it was like a five-hour video where the winner of a, a America's Got Talent he was you know kind of sucked in, into it and now he is uh, exposing it and, you know, I didn't know anything about all these secret handshakes and hand gestures, okay, until I, like, I, I, I wasn't even aware of, like, these things. And if I, before I ever would have watched that guy expose these things, I never would have even picked up on it. But last night, as I was watching these, um, like, Nazi generals and stuff in this documentary, I saw them do the, the half hand in the pocket thing and the uh, Freemason uh, handshakes that they do. And it's just crazy because um, if you actually learn like what it is, it's a secret religion and they worship Satan. A lot of people nowadays are a part of Freemason. They don't really understand what it is. And it was just crazy to see how all these higher ups and the elite, it even, it goes back so long ago. And even like elites and you know people in the government nowadays, they're all in on it. It's all a secret religion, and it's all um, ran by Satan. And he has an agenda, and we see the agenda happening right now. But you know what? But God, okay? We know that God wins in the end. So as you see these things, all these things, okay? Look up. Jesus is really coming, guys. Um, anyways, I don't want to make this too long. I hope y'all have a wonderful weekend, and I'll chat with y'all soon. See ya.